Ah, me hearties, dinky do, tis me, Scotty McClue, saying a very good evening to you. Excellent stuff, and uh, a very warm welcome to our pop-up. I hope you're all well, and uh, I like to pop up and just say dinky do to every single one of you. See what's happening, and you can, of course, pass it on to everyone else as well, which is fabulous stuff. So there you are, wonderful. And if you'd like to come on and have a chit-chat with me tonight, then you're very welcome to do so. And uh, that's fabulous. So there you are. We don't mind that at all. Uh, Gary Micklum, Dinky Doo, Martin Rowe, Sandra Wilkin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say Friday night, nothing gets past me. And a warm welcome to the Scotty McClue pop-up. I hope you've been enjoying the watch parties and the pop-ups during the week, of course. And it's always lovely to have you with us. And um, I think this is quite a good time to do the pop-up as well, do the broadcast as well. Now, uh, let me know. I'm just checking the lighting from here. Is everything looking okay from your point of view? Can you see clearly? I can see clearly now the rain has gone. What a day it's been in Scotland with rain. I have never actually seen rain like it. I know we always say that, but it's true. There's John Boyle. Good evening, Scotty. Good evening, John. Come on, Scotty. We need you on the radio more, says Stevie McKenzie. Julie Shaw. Good evening, Scotty. Hello, Scotty. From the Jack Master, Jackie Gray, Dinky Doo. Shared as usual, says John. Excellent, John. Thanks very much for that. There's Stevie Dodds. Would you like to come on, Stevie? Have a quick chat. Chat with me, you'd be very welcome. Rab Hills watching Dinky Doo Rab, always nice to have you with us. And welcome to our Friday evening pop-up. Laura Devlin, oh Scotty Boy, all right, Scotty Boy, Dinky Do, Dinky Do to you. Lovely to have you with us. Richard McCusker and Stuart Holton. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I say, hey, good evening, Scotty. So Stephen Mulgrew. Angela Goodlett's watching. All right, Scotty, big chaps of rap. Neil Mills Jr. Howdy, Mr. Clue. About time, Scotty. I need Scotty live in my life. Stephen Rooney and Jamie Lockwood, dinky do. Excellent stuff. Now, I don't know if you've been noticed that uh, people were commenting on one of the videos we'd been sending round saying um, that they thought it was a bit um, out of date or something like that, some nonsense like that. Andrew McDonald, Carol Smith and Amanda Smith, welcome, welcome, welcome. Come and join us, I say, and get your sharing going. I'm going to do a bit of sharing here and see if we can get everybody up there. Uh, good evening. You're looking good, says Angela. Thanks, Angela. Is everything all right? Is the picture okay? Scotty, you're a legend. Get the shots, mugs and stuff. Do you think we should do that? Get get a bit of that on the go. A bit of merch. And we should start wearing that hat again, says Paul Whiteman. Well, the hat's all right, Paul. We can certainly put it on any time you like, but I don't know. Looking well today, Scotty, says El Salvador. Should I wear my hat or should I not? There's Louise Gemmel joined us. Excellent, Louise. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Do from me, Scotty McClure. Come and get a shout out, of course. You're always very welcome. I'm just checking what we've got here. And uh, what I shall do, of course, is a little bit of sharing. So there we are. Uh, Julie Shaw, hope Clyde's doing well. He's doing amazing, Julie. As we know, 13th birthday coming up and all that. Uh, Colin Menzies, Dinky Do, I hope you were okay with your answer earlier, Colin. Colin was asking about mental health, and I was just saying, well, it's a huge, huge subject. But as a sweeping generalization, very often mental health is not a weakness. It's staying strong for far too long. No hat, Scotty, it makes you too warm. No, I think so. Yes, wear it, says Billy Jobs Walker. Always sharing, buddy. Good banter, says John Boyle. Oh, John Boyle, excellent banter. I don't think that's ever in doubt. Loving the picture on the wall behind you. What's your beautiful dog's name? Laura Devlin, that was Lord Reith in the picture behind there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see him there. It's quite a bright light, that, actually. Um, so there you are. Is it too bright? The old backlight. But uh, there's Lord Reith. It was his graduation. He graduated and coming back on his own scent. Marvellous stuff. John Gallagher's watching. Dinky Doo. Spread the word, guys. Let's see if we can get these numbers up and let everybody know what is happening. I was laughing tonight because a guy was asking, Hi, Sir John Gallagher. Hi, John. I went to the doctor today. I said I felt like coconut. He said, Hi, your bounty. Rab, you told us that last week. 
I think you're 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 you're, you're getting forgetful. You told us that last week. <coughs> Fantastic stuff. Now, let me do a bit of sharing there. So there we go. And um, oh yes, I've been getting pelters this week for all sorts of things. Hi, Scotty. I'm just heading out. Thank you very much for your reply. No problem, Colin. Have a lovely evening and take care of yourself. Uh, like a few of us shared, absolutely. I'm just going to share uh, to a page. Now, have you been enjoying the watch parties? That's when we pop up and uh, say hi to everybody, just random. So there you go. And you, you might get it in the morning. You might get it in the afternoon or the evening, any time at all. A wee watch party. Um, I'm just going to let everybody know that we're live there. Loving the photo frame, my man. <laughs> Do you like that, actually? Uh, Scotty, that's more like it, matey, says El Salvador. Absolutely. The watch parties. You can't have too much. There's Carol. Dinky do, Carol. Carol Hughes, hi. Yes, don't want to miss anybody. John Boyle, dinky do. Let's talk about the moon that landed being fake says El Salvador. Well, we don't know that it was fake. All I know is that I think my first words would have been, no way could a cow jump over that. That's why I'd have said, Mark Kelsey, dinky do. What are you thinking about the old proroguing of Parliament? There we are. Right, let the show commence. I'm here now, says Rudy Zach. Good for you, Rudy. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Where's the bonnet? The bonnet is here, but I've been told not to put it on. Bonnet! There we are. I've been told not to put it on, so there we are. How do you feel about dog poo? Uh, why, what were you going to do, Kate? So there you are. I loved your radio show back in the day, says John Fimister. Thank you, John, and dinky-doo. I got a Celtic jersey. I'm just going to share this, guys. And um, I'll just put live, shall I? Just put up live. Excellent. Right. Sharing that. Um, the biggest lie ever, trying to fool the world, says Pablo. Uh, could you please cheer my friend Lee Grant Pollard up, please? He's had a tough day by saying, Polly, put the kettle on, please, says Jamie Lockwood. No problem, Jamie, we can do that. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Absolutely, says El Salvador. You're liking the banter, El Salvador. And uh, Mike McArdle's letting, letting Shea Bracken know that we are here and that we are live. Are we okay here? Uh, Fergus, only the bonnet in Glasgow. Yes, absolutely. The bonnet in Glasgow. So there you are. Not a problem. Oh, Fergus, the only bonnet in Glasgow. I've got you now, John Boyle. The only bonnet in Glasgow. Excellent stuff. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure, the first, the first lord of the internet. And of course, the world's top broadcaster. Uh, Ryan Holmes, Ben Wells, Mark Voicey, Sean Spector, Ben Storm, Thompson and Naomi Knight, Liam Rickard would like to tell you that Scotty McClue is live just for you, dinky do right now. There we are, John Bile. The prologue was permitted by the Queen, being a royalist. Your thoughts, Scotty? Well, I think the Queen would always support her Prime Minister because, if you think about it, she's just invited him to form a government. So there you are. So, you know, I mean, unless a Prime Minister was really overplaying his hand, the Queen would support the Prime Minister. Mark Kelsey not tuned in for a few weeks, he says. Shout out, says Stephen McLaughlin. Uh, Mark Frail, whoever wins on Sunday wins. Safe journey home to all, says Stephen Dodds. What's on the menu tonight, sir, says Rudy Zach. Rudy, I know people are doing daft, but we are discussing Brexit tonight because we've had quite a lot of it and there's been a lot of unfairness. And as you know, I think it's absurd leaving the EU. So there we are. That's what I think. Enjoy your pop-up. Good surprise to John Bile. Andrew McDonald says, hi, Scotty. Popping up there. Do you think the whole Brexit disaster is going to work out? Does this bring us closer to an independent Scotland? It may well do so, actually, because I think the Scots are quite shocked about coming out. See, they've always traded with Europe for over oh, a thousand years, 1500 years. The problem I think that England finds is that it is very, very close to Europe because England is essentially French. They're, they're, they're French. So England's really France. You know, Scotland's very strong with France as well. France is very powerful through Mary, Queen of Scots. 
So there you are. So you have that sort of thing as well. Good evening again, sir. Got you live now. Michael Paul McVee, Dinky Doo. Scotty McClue popping up just for you to say hi. Scotty, not being cheeky. Who does your hair? The council. Ha, ha, ha. You're being very cheeky, Rad. You're a wee shocker that you are, but I don't mind, actually. I could take a wee bit of banter, you know, a bit of banter from yourself. Not a problem, I say. Scotty, I listened to your show last Sunday. Absolutely loved it. So Robert T. Kerr, was this the radio show on Nation Radio, Robert? We're doing our best there. Good evening, Scotty, says Kirsty Hogg. Yes, I don't think we should be leaving the EU at all because it's a market of 28 countries and 510 million people. Um, I'm in England, Scotty. Going to need a visa to join you, says John Pyle. Do you agree that Brexit has been an eye-opener? No voting unionists exposing the democratic deficit Scotland appears to tolerate. Yes, it has. Um, it would have made me smile under other circumstances, but there's two very undemocratic things have happened. The referendum is pushed as democracy. People are being worked from the back. Ooh, democracy. Oh, I'm up for democracy. So that sort of thing. But if you think about it, only 1.2 million people of a majority out of almost 70 million people. So there you are. Billy Harrop's the picture behind you. Yes, so there we are. Bit of an eye-opener there. Uh, so that's that. Now, Jamie Cox, what we'll do with you is we can either... Yeah, I think we'll just block you. Right, guys, you'll never, ever, ever hear of Jamie Cox again. He's gone. All right, so anybody over the top on here, we either delete the comment if it's, uh, you know, just a wee bit on the dodgy side or lifetime ban, not a problem. So there you are, but you'll never hear of what was his name again. doesn't matter. He's gone, Jamie Cox. Uh, ben Storm Thompson, Dinky Do. This one's for you, Liam Rickard. And uh, fantastic. Robert T. Uh, yes, Nation Radio. Nation Radio on a Sunday night, 10 o'clock sharp, 96.3 on the FM in Central Scotland or www.nationradio.scot. You're a class act, Scotty. Get on the telly of the old phone-ins back here. Yes, I know we need to do that. Will freedom of movement to live and work be the sword that the EU falls on? You want freedom of movement. If I want to go and work in Paris or Berlin, I should be able to do so. It's wonderful, the whole concept. I didn't used to be a massive fan of uh, the EU, of the European Union and stuff. Are you deaf on Sunday against a Stephen Dodge? Yes, God willing, weather permitting. I'm on on Sunday. So there we are. David Lafferty, Dinky Do, EU freedom of movement's flawed. In what way, Rudy Zack? Because it's freedom of movement that's actually built the world. <coughs> Fantastic. We need to get together and tell Nation Radio. We want Scotty on more. So there we are. Incredible. I mean, look at this whole thing of immigration. There's a lot of fear, a lot of xenophobia about, you know, people doing their nut about somebody who might be from Europe. Prince Albert, Queen Victoria's husband, wanted a united Europe. So did Winston Churchill. Hello from Scarborough. So there you are with Kelly. Says Michael Putley. I got the app for my phone, says Robert T. Kerr. An excellent app. First class radio station, Robert. Superb music on Nation Radio. Drew McKenzie, Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us. Come on for a shout out, folks. A bit more sharing. Bit more sharing. I'm going to share. Mon Scotty boy, where's my shout out for Alawa? Says Alan Baird. Alan Baird, dinky do to everybody in Alawa, in Alva, in the Hill Foots, in Blair Logie, right out there. Fantastic stuff. It would take way too long to explain on here, Scotty. Freedom of movement to live and work. Yes, but Rudy, that's a good thing. I can move myself. I don't need the EU. So, I will you move yourself, Rob? I'll tell you. You need to move yourself, boy. So there we are. I'm just going to share um, to another page. In fact, what I'll do, I'll share on here and just let everybody know. If you can all share as well, guys. Sharing, sharing, sharing. Paul Ashell Jones, Dinky Do, Scotty. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Uh, need something for that cough of yours to look after your health, my friend. Stephen Dodds, I think it's just lots and lots and lots of talking. Uh, so there you are. And sometimes uh, I pick up a wee bit of the lurgy, you know. I do a lot of work with other people. 
And uh, so there you are. What do you do with yourself, says Michael. That's a bit personal. Hi, Ryan Home, says Liam Ricard. Castle Milk Boy, Scotty, need to get home, says John Boyle. Absolutely, Castle Milko. Uh, you're doing a live chat show with people tonight, Scotty. I can, Julie Shaw. If you want to come on for a chat, you're very welcome. Just pop up. Done it, bud, says John Boyle. Hi, Liam Rickard. Now, guys, that goes for all of you. If you want to come on live just now, you can do. You just have to flag it up to me, and uh, you can come on. I mean, John Boyle, do you want to come on? Ryan Holmes, who's this man? Says Liam. Or Liam. Liam Rickard. Liam. Yes, that's better, Liam. Liam. What are we talking? Ryan and Liam. Not Liam and Riam. There we are. I'm here to buy a couch. It's a couch. No. And what we'll do with you is we will block you. Guy leaving us, guys. Fantastic. Block. There he goes. Excellent stuff. Uh, no, I mean in your spare time, your hobbies. Ah, Michael Potley. I'm doing up an old car at the moment. And uh, that's quite fantastic. I do a lot of writing. I don't really have any spare time as such. I'm rather maxed. I do a lot of after dinner speaking, public speaking. I train a lot of very, very senior people in uh, appearing in front of the camera, appearing on the radio, all that sort of thing. So there we go. Shout out from Ireland. Dinky do which part of Ireland? And I'll do you the accent. Not a problem. Um, I'll come on, says Liam. Yes, why don't you, Liam? Why don't you come on and have a bit of chat, guys? Let's have Liam on. Liam Ricard. So there we are. Winston Churchill, no problem at all. There we go. And we'll get that sorted. Oops, what's happened here? My goodness me. Well, something's happened here. Ah, oh, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, there we are. You just had a... A flash of something else. What car are you working on? It's a, it's a, it's a big old powerful car. So I'm doing a bit of work on that. No Scotty, no Likey. So there we are. No, no, just a wee pop up there. Brexit was illegal back in 2016. Um, they stated that businesses would suffer if the UK exited the EU. Now they've suspended the government and tried to push a no deal vote through. So there you are, quite right. Sorry, Winston Churchill. So there we are. Michael, it would take a lot to explain. Big old car. Uh, what about Shetland next to see the coverage mainstream media? Ah, very interesting. Scotty, have you watched Peaky Blinders? No, but I heard a big discussion at work about it. Uh, you're that crab out of monsters, says Kyrius. Very good. Uh, you're in a hut there, Scotty. Yeah, room with a view. Did you like that? We bit of change there. I'll just show you the rest of the room. Fantastic. Bit of set dressing. James Crooks, Hallam FM, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. What a top man you are. I, of course, was uh, Mr. Hallam FM for uh, a good long while talking to the good burgers of Sheffield and South Yorkshire and Barnsley. A Ford, says Michael Pantley. No, it's not a Ford, actually. Um, so there we are. Um, well, we got Stephen Dodds Bolt Kai. So there we are. Stephen's obviously conducting a bit of language of his own there. Right, I'm just going to share to another page, guys. Share, share, share. Or well, share to the group. Yes, so if you can all share as well, that'd be fantastic. We voted to leave. Good on you, Boris, says Sid Harris. No, we didn't vote to leave. 1.2 million was the majority for leaving, and only 50% of the country voted or less than 50%, so we didn't actually vote to leave, believe it or not. So there we go, Sid. Get that down yet. Uh, Bruce Phillip. Hi, Scotty. Hello, Bruce. Lovely to have you with us in Dinky Doo. If you've just joined us, folks, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet, and, of course, the world's top broadcaster with a pop-up just for you to say Dinky Doo. You will see me pop up again. Have you enjoyed... Uh, watching some of the watch parties. Top banana, Scotty. Sharing and off later, bud. No problem, John Boyle. No problem at all. I'm just going to pop this into a group here, the Scotty McClue fan group. I hope you're all members. We've got a good few thousand people on there. So it's wonderful. Uh, no, we did 100%, says Sid Harris. No, we didn't 100%, Sid Harris. Stop talking nonsense. <laughs> Um, so there we are. Robert T. Kerr. Right, we can't have that, Robert. So I'll just 
take that one off because that's what you call an opinion. I'll just delete the comment, Robert. You're not in trouble. That's gone, but we can't actually just say things like that. So there we go. Right, uh, Scotty McClure group, excellent stuff. Just putting that up there. And uh, that's it, lovely. And sharing, 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 sharing. So there we go. Um, so I, I don't want to obviously turn the pop-up into a whole Brexit thing, but I have been getting pelters off a lot of people over this, and I think to myself, no, 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 come on. Let's just be realistic. There's quite a rush to shove all this through. And if you're coming out of the European Union, I know we've managed to stay in for three years, which I think is a result. So there you are. I really do think it's a result and uh, fantastic stuff from that point of view. But, um, you know, I think it's something that needs a lot of time. And if there's nothing um, that's a problem about it, take our time, you know, and discuss it with the EU at length and see what's what, because we've been 50 years with the EU or its predecessors. So there we are. Yes, I am. Donald McMillan's watching, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. He's away to bed, young man. Chee bye. So there you are, somebody's off to the bed. Scotty, maybe a wee heads up. What happened the courts in Edinburgh? Well, we can't discuss that because that is the business of the courts. So we can't actually discuss that in a programme. But I know what you mean. Robert T. Kerr, I understand. Of course you do, Robert. Clever, clever man. A 1980s style, Thatcher-esque Scotland awaits. High unemployment, cash-strapped families, desperate times ahead. Um, Kai, it wasn't funny the first time. Do one, says Julie Shaw. So there we are. So what I'm going to do, Rob Morgan, uh, I can smell you from a phone, Liam Bolton. We'll just block you. There we are. You won't be able to smell anything now. Uh, yes, uh, two months ago. So there we are. Smells like a hospital. What's he on? So there we are. So that guy's gone. Uh, I've just blocked him. What we get, guys, if we get... Oh, I've gone a bit funny here, actually. I've gone a wee bit bright. Let that settle down. I wonder what's happened there. We'll let that settle down a bit. Have I gone funny on, on, uh, on the phone? So there we are. Can you say... What's this, Rob Morgan? It's his birthday, Teddy's birthday. I'll say dinky do to Teddy. Can't quite work that one out. Michael Paul McVeigh, okay. Fantastic. Okay, Michael Paul McVeigh. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say. Have I gone a bit strange in the light? It looks it looks rather bright uh, on there. Let me know what it looks like to you at home. All you viewers at home watching Scotty McClure saying dinky do just for you. Do you not think there's Greg MacArthur coming to join us? Dinky do. Alex Glass. Lovely to have you with us. Time for a sip of water. Oh, that's lush. That's absolutely lovely. So there we are. Wonderful stuff. And uh, a very warm welcome to you. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. You're pretty cute. Says Idan. Thanks, Idan. Sam Kearney. And um, what's he saying now? All right, Sam Kearney. I think what we'll do is, I'm not too sure about some of these comments, guys. Watch your comments when you're coming on. It's not just ordinary stuff. A bit bright, Scotty. Yes, I thought that. I wondered what had done that. Um, let's see if we can trim that down a wee bit. I think it's a bit bright. How's that? Is that okay for you? Or is that too bright as well? Um, maybe we'll move the lamp. Oh, see how that's looking. They are fantastic. Right, is that too bright? Or is it the background that's gone a bit bright? And maybe put off the background light, guys, and see what we're doing here. So give us a wee second. Pop that off, you see, I think that's gone a bit bright. Uh, and let that settle down. See how that goes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that's still very bright. I wonder if we've changed one of the settings. Let me see what I can do here for you. Ah! Aha! Something's been moved. How's that? Is that better? So there you are. Wonderful stuff. 
Do you like that? Excellent. There we are. And um, right, Sam Kearney, what we'll have to do with you, unfortunately, is block you because we can't have that sort of political nonsense. So there we are, and uh, off he jolly well goes. You look like a negative. No, I'm a positive. Yeah, absolutely. How's that, guys? Is that better? So there we go. I think it must have just been the way the light was grabbing us. Wonderful. Yes, that's right. We're just getting too much into the light. There we go. How's that? Is that okay? It was absolutely fine. Who touched something? <laughs> Told you not to touch anything. So there we are. It's all over the place at the moment. Maybe some of the guests aren't too bright. I think that's right, Scott Marta. Fantastic. You look like a negative. Um, so there we are. If Boris is so quick to inflict a prorog on us, this surely indicates that Scotland can sing for another Section 30 order. What do you think it will take? For the British government to cave in and give, and give the democratic choice to choose our future in these times. Very, very interesting question that, actually. I'm quite happy to take some responses on that. This has gone a bit funny, I'm sure of it. I'm just trying to, to work out what's happened here. That better. Just bear with me, folks. There we go. Looks a wee bit misty. Uh, wonderful. Uh, Ian Stewart, that's better. That's it now, Sir Rab Hill. Are we back, Rab? You have some lovely warmers writing to you tonight. They're not very bright, so Stephen does. No, Stephen. I think they've just found Scotty and they're a bit excited at being on. I think that's what's happened. Julie Shaw, that's perfect now. Thanks, Julie. Excellent. Worrying times ahead, Scotty. Let's not let the fascists win. The times that are changing. We, the people, will write the next chapter. Independence is coming for all. That, friends. Scotty, do you do any radio shows company? Yes, John Bythway. Sunday evenings, 10 o'clock sharp. Two hours, 10 till midnight. Live on Nation Radio. The phone in. Come and give us a call this Sunday night. Fantastic stuff. And um, always delighted to hear from you. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. How are we doing for time here, guys? My goodness me. Bit more sharing. We need to get the numbers up. Bit more sharing. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Um, so there we are. And saying the class in the jungle, have you thought about a phone-in type debate on this platform, Scotty? The trouble is it'd be difficult to edit. No, but you can come on right now, Rudy Zach, if you'd like to come on. If anybody wants to come on and we can try it out and say to the people, what do you think? I think that would be an excellent idea. So feel free to do that if that's what you'd like to do. That would be wonderful. Um, and uh, we've always got room to have a wee chat on here. Never a problem. So there you are. So do tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue popping up. Do you think I should risk the backlight now? Or is that fine as it is? Or you say, Scotty, don't touch anything now. Just leave it. <laughs> what do we reckon? Leave it. Don't touch anything. What do we think? Wonderful. Um, so there we are. Mason James, what we'll do with you, we'll block you and all those like you. Wonderful. Right, there we are. He's blocked. Uh, leave it. Leave it, says Paul Whiteman. Just leave it. Is that okay now, Paul? That's fine. As it is, the lighting's much better. Wonderful. No, you just get wee changes from time to time. Excellent. Stop footing, Scotty, says Julie Shaw. That's a lovely old Scottish one, isn't it? Footering. An awful footerer. Right, I'm just going to do a wee share, guys, and if you can all do the same, that would be tremendous. Let everybody know. Scotty McClure's live just for you. Friday night, nothing gets past me. Don't touch it, says Ian Stewart. Okay, Ian, I won't touch it. Now, can you see, have you all been following um, what I've been doing this week on Facebook? Can you see it all when it comes up? When you footer, it makes the light worse. Right, okay, Stephen, what am I supposed to do? What would make it better now? Okay, let me know what you think would make it better now. That would be fabulous. A bit backlight on again. Or is that footering? 
And Scotty, there is a bit of mist. Yes, I thought that. It does look misty. Let me see if the lens is clean. It does look a wee bit misty, doesn't it? Um, now, let me see. If I've just got a wee rag here or something. I'll give the lens a bit of a tidy up. And uh, Scotty, there's a bit of mist. John Gray's watching. Just bear with me, guys. How's that? Is that better? That looked a little bit better. Has that cleared the mist a wee bit? And not, not, says Stephen does. Uh, do you ever stay in Mother? Did you ever stay in Motherwell, says Julie Shaw? No, but you'd see me around Motherwell a lot, Julie. Um, turn all the lights off. No. I was wondering about putting this back on. How's that? Is that better? Does that balance things up a wee bit? Uh, Scotty, what do you think of the minimum unit pricing on Bevy? Um, Edan, I'd, I'd be interested to know if it's made a difference. You know, from that point of view, I'd be very interested to know. It's lights, says Stephen Dodd. How's that, Stephen? I think that looks a bit better, actually, to be quite honest with you. But you at home must tell me. You must pursue me. Uh, remember Sir James Robertson Justice? It wasn't Sir James Robertson Justice. James Robertson Justice. And... Um, he was, he was amazing. And he used to say in these old movies, you must put me. Wonderful. I'm just going to do a bit of sharing on here, if you can all do the same. Perfect. Don't be meddling again. There we go. Don't touch anything. I don't know what happened the last time. It just went bananas. And has the mist gone? I want to know if the mist has gone. Uh, there we are. Stephen Dodd's DNE. What does, D, what does DNE mean, Stephen Dodds? What are you doing? For goodness sake, uh, DNE. Facebook. I'm just going to share to the group. There we go. Uh, and let everybody know what's what. There I am. Wonderful. And I shall share to that right now. And if you can all do the same, that's fantastic. That's it. Brand new. This is Michael Paul McVay. Good. I don't know what went wrong. Michael Paul McVay. Better now, Scotty, says Rab. Yes, there's a wee bit of mist, and of course some people go, oh, I'm not putting up with this. So there you are, done, done. Yeah, good, thanks, Stevie, that's fantastic. Just going to have a quick comfort break here. We touch for this. Oh, no. I've been getting requests for a tune on the old squeeze box as well. You've all been asking about that, so we will look after you, don't worry. Um, so there we go. There's people on here on YouTube. Now, guys, you must get on to Scotty McClure's YouTube channel as well. That is fantastic. And um, let us know what's what. Uh, Gordon Rich is watching. Dinky doo, Gordon. Lovely to have you with us. The mist has gone. The mist has lifted Ian Stewart. Absolutely. I'll just give you a thumbs up there and you'll see that come up. Tell me, Scotty, how significant is the timing of UEFA's something about the Scottish government offensive behaviour? It's an interesting one, yes. Let me see. Sanctions in one of Scotland's old firm for chanting sectarian songs in Poland. Yeah, they need to stop the sectarian songs, really, I'm, I'm afraid. So there we are. It's just the way it goes. What's happened there? Somebody touched something again. Um... DNE means do not elect. <laughs> Scotty for Prime Minister. Sort this mess out now. I would not put up with any nonsense, I'll tell you that. I right, here's a wee tune. There we are. Scotty, phone in on this. Get a laugh. Well, you phone in, Rab, and let me know what you're up to. I'm just going to do a wee love thing. There we go. Love. It's a very splendid thing. Fantastic. Uh, backlight has sorted the picture. Good. Are we looking all right? It's gone a bit dark now. Something's happened, though. What's happened? Everything's gone a tiny bit dark, have I? Is that better? Is that okay? Uh, so there we are. The old backlight's on there. Wonderful stuff. Thank you. If you've just joined us, folks, a very warm welcome. If you're wondering what on earth's going on, you're watching Scotty McClue, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster, popping up just for you to say Dinky Doo live on Facebook Live. So there we are. What's your number? Eden, you don't do a number. You just link up right now. Just click away and bow your head. Too funny, says Amanda McDonald. Too funny for what? 
You're some chanter, big man. Phone-ins. Yeah, well, you know, for the phone-in on Sunday, oh, yes, no problem at all. Oh, 0141 811 Sorry, I thought you meant for phoning me right now on this. Good evening, Scotty, says Jeff Bernstein. I hope you don't mind me asking, Scotty, are you married? Um, Julie Shaw, don't be ridiculous, who would have me? So there you are. And uh, I'm not on the other bus either, I can tell you. William Cameron Dinky Do, lovely to have you with us and a very warm welcome. Excellent. Friday night, nothing gets past me, of course. Now, guys, you'll see this probably pop up as a watch party as well. I think that's very, very important too. Is Brexit affecting your lighting, Scotty? No, but Greg MacArthur, I think we could probably blame Brexit for the lighting. Scotland's vote in general elections has only made difference to two general elections since the end of the Second World War. Otherwise, England decides for Scotland. The hue of politics we receive, see more. I'm going to risk it. Sometimes see more can... You can lose the broadcast. No, I can't. I'm not going to press it any harder, really, because I don't want to lose the whole broadcast, you know. That sort of thing can happen. And we don't want that, do we? Excellent stuff. Um, welcome, 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 I say. Scotty McClure, if you're an alien life form from another planet and you've never actually heard of me, then it's capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. That's the Scotty. And the McClure, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. Jamie McDougall, at last, a voice of reason on the media. I thank you, Jamie McDougall, you top man. Oh, don't be silly. A lady would be lucky to have you. Oh, for goodness sake, Julie Shaw. You say the loveliest things. So there you go. I've asked everybody. Um, David Cordingly, Dinky Doo. Uh, Jake Richardson, what we'll do with you is give you a lifetime ban. So there we are. There's Jake, and Jake gets... Is lifetime ban for being silly. What's your opinion on a socialist Scotland? I think we have to be very careful about this, that we don't go too far one way or the other. Scotland is by nature a social and socialist country, but it's not a Marxist country and it's not a communist country. And it's clearly not a right-wing country, but I think we have to have a nice balance. I would like to see us a little bit more right of centre of the present setup. I really would. Um, but, um, you know, very much, I think left and right are false labelling. And I think that really what we want to do is have a balance of saying to people, look, it's not all about just total equality, and it's not all about making a lot of money. All right, so you need a balance in a country. Now, economically, I'm pretty sure that Scotland uh, would make a first-class job of doing it alone. These figures that are telling us there's a deficit, if we hung on to the £60 billion pounds that we send down to uh, London every year, then, uh, you know, we'd be well in the black. From that point of view. Dinky do from Carl Luke. So there you are. So there's a lot of things, but I mean I would be more concerned about running the broadcasting for Scotland. So they are I was kind of tipped tipped, you know, to uh, run the Scottish Broadcasting Corporation if we'd had independence in twenty fourteen. That was the, the word on the street. People said, Why don't you get Scotty McClure running? your broadcasting and your media. And if you think about it, my experience starting uh, radio stations, television stations, a lot of uh, commercial media, public service broadcasting, radio, television, online, all these different things, you know, and um, a nice balance, you know, I've never stabbed anybody in the back or climbed over other people to get anywhere or anything like that. So, nice, safe pair of hands, Scotty McClure. That's what you want. Wonderful. Who have we got here? Paul Cruikshanks, is it a classic car you're doing up? Yes, Rudy Zach, 27 years old. So, not classic in the sense of 
It's like 80 years old or anything like that. 27 years old. But no, Scotland needs a balance. The left and right thing is a bit of a con. So you obviously do some superb trading. You bring in loads and loads of money. And then you decide how you're going to apportion it. So, but a lot of it to get rid of poverty, to get rid of reliance on food banks. When you say get rid of food banks, you know, I mean, it sounds harsh because the food banks have done such a wonderful job. But, you know, the, the terrific, and all of it was political. You know, it was right-wing politics that were causing this man-made political policy um, suffering that was going on for the last 10 years. You know, that's that was the thing. Evening, Scotty. We'll be watching by candlelight post-Brexit and eating sliced porridge, says Jeff Bernstein. We may well be Jeff Bernstein. Why would we give up uh, the world's top trading block? Come out of that? I mean, sounds like a piece of nonsense to me. So, fantastic. Jacqueline McFarlane, dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Conservative with a small C, says Rudy Zach. I think so, Rudy. Yes, absolutely. I think so. Um, Julie Shaw, where are people sharing, Scotty? Lots of dafties on tonight. I don't know, but uh, everybody's sharing. But let's share. I think it's important. So there we are. We've got about another uh, 15 minutes or something. So let's do some more. I'll share in some more groups and uh, see if we can get that out there. I think that's rather good. You do get a lot of dafty stuff, but I think the bigger you become, and what we've got here, you'll notice three and a half thousand saw last week's pop up. You know, so, uh, you know, I think that the bigger it becomes, and the stuff with 30,000 people having a look at it. I think you do, from Carnook, says Jacqueline McFarlane. And I want to see if we can get out there to America and to Canada and talk to all the people of Australia. New Zealand. We used to have a lot of that when I popped up at first, and I think we need more of that. Fantastic. I think I've worked out the lighting, guys. It just needs small movement for you to disappear and then come back into the light. So there you are. I might footer a tiny bit, just a tiny bit of footering into the lights. Uh, Dinky Doo from Car Luke. We love Car Luke. Kevin Malcolm, how are you? Right, a group. Um, there we are. I'll just get that going. Oh, hang on, folks. I'm just a bit of sharing. If everybody can do a bit of sharing, that would be absolutely fantastic. So there we go. And uh, we'll get everybody going. That's it. Lovely. Good. If you could do the same, folks, that would be smashing. So a bit of sharing, never a problem. Always lovely. Well said, Scott. This is Jeff Bernstein. I'm going to open a candlestick company. I'll tell you on Sunday why. Says Stephen Dodge, you'd better, Stevie. I'll look forward to that, top man. I agree, left and right is true. That's why I've got my socks on the wrong feet. What's your favourite album? Says Edan. Oh, Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Heart Club Band. Sergeant Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band is one of my favourite ones. Also, um, oh, oh, superb stuff. Neil Young, I used to love listening to Neil Young when I was young. To secure independence, the current Scottish government has to be all things to all people. A very difficult balancing act, yes, but it's done very well. Because let's face it, we were all a bit tongue-in-cheek about the whole thing at one point. So wonderful stuff. Um, so there we go. And uh, do you follow the football? What do you think about both Rangers and Celtic progressing Europe? I'm not a big football follower, Jamie, to be quite honest. I couldn't really tell you much about it and apparently I would have been a superb commentator according to a top commentator and I was telling a joke once and uh, just a wee second Greg I'll come up to you I'm just going to dump this Rachel Clark Rachel Clark lifetime ban my dear okay let's get you banned block Rachel right so there we go um, I'll just get rid of that. These are the dafties. Um, I think the point you're making, says Greg MacArthur, is akin to what the SNP is, and that is a broad church. I think the difficulty the SNP has had over the years, one, they haven't jumped in and supported the monarchy. And when I say the Scottish crown, 
This is very, very important. Now, it brings all the idiots on, but, oh, them with their money, ah! Forget all that. That's nothing to do with it. I think we need to support the Scottish crown. That's your first thing. That's a symbol of authority. I think also the SNP has had a problem because they've never come down and said what their opinion was clearly on religion. And that used to matter in Scotland. So you had a bit of a difficulty there. I don't know to what extent. And you see, the SNP did actually split into the Scottish Covenant at one point. And one of the biggest meetings that uh, the late John McCormick was at was in the St. Andrews Halls in Glasgow. And he said it was the biggest political meeting he'd ever been to. And 3,000 people turned up. Now, if I pop up on Facebook, 3,000 people turn up. Sometimes 30,000 people turn up. So it kind of puts all that into perspective from that point of view, you know? So there you are. But um, yes, the SNP is in a very interesting history. And of course, um, Labour lost the battle. The SNP was born out of the Labour movement. And Labour have just lost the battle in Scotland because they didn't support independence. If they'd supported independence, oh, you'd have seen a massive, massive change. So they are very, very interesting. So that said, these are just points for discussion, guys. Um, Robert Abercrombie, Kelly and Bob, brother, excellent stuff. And Travis Gray, let's block you. There's Travis blocked. Excellent stuff. So we're blocking a lot of idiots tonight, guys. But this is what happens when you become very, very popular. I'm just going to share in yet another group. Marvel stuff. So if everybody can share at the same time, that would be fantastic. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure. Quick pop up just for you to say dinky do to every single one of you. Hope you've had a great week. If you want to be shout out, on you come and we will do that. Fantastic. Fan Debbie Dozy, I say. So there we are. And dinky do, of course, Scotty McClure's catchphrase. Remember, Scotty McClure's phone-ins are now entering their 28th year. 28 years. And a guy on tonight, we popped up one of the uh, fantastic videos uh, of me appearing on national television. And the guy said, do you have anything more up to date? This is desperate. So I had a discussion about it, saying, what do you mean by desperate. Was good. Well, uh, you know, you're obviously wanting people to view. I said, look, after a very, very highly successful career spanning 36 years in television and radio, in all the leading market areas all over the UK, I really don't think I've got anything to prove. So the videos are for entertainment. You don't have to watch it if you don't want to. Nobody's telling you to watch it. It's not a problem either way. So there you are. Who have we got here? Some fantastic people. Scotty, could Scotland survive away from the EU? Food banks in 2019 is a disgrace. Stand up for the disadvantaged always. Michael Palmer, they. Of course, Scotland has always stood up for the disadvantaged. That's why the food banks have appeared in the face of terrific adversity caused by p direct political policy from London. So there you are. And uh, who else have we got? Sarah Phillips, just about to be banned, darling. Now let's ban Sarah. Block Sarah Phillips. Bye-bye. There we go. Sarah's gone. So that's that. Never hear of her again. Harry Whitworth will just block you. Block Harry. Excellent, Harry's gone. And uh, Aoife Byrne, surprised at you. Thought you'd be more grown up than that, Aoife. We'll just block you, so bye-bye. There we are, that's Aoife. We'll never hear of her again. Did your viewers know that Scotland isn't actually we? Scotland's population is the same or greater than 50% of the world's independent countries. Scotland is depopulated through social injustice. And it would be very nice to see Scotland repopulated 
through social justice. So there's an idea, fantastic. Uh, Harry Whitworth's gone, and Travis Brickwood, ban, lovely. Are you watching me banning these people, guys? It's brilliant. There's Travis gone. Who else? There we are, Shadow King Holds laughing. Adam Oy, Scotty, says Corey Dillon. We have cheers in Scotland, says Stephen Doyle. Absolutely. Top man, Scotty, shout out to me and Kelly, says Robert Amber Crumby. Benny Harvey, RIP. There we are. Alex Salmond in 2014 publicly stated that post yes, Scotland would retain the monarchy. Good, good. Great start to the weekend. Thanks, Scotty. Says Rosemary Rushton, Stephen McFarlane, Phil Doherty, Tammy Pankhurst. You don't even need to be popular to have your life shared into groups. I've listened to you from the very start, Scotty, says Julie. Absolutely, Julie. Who will be the voice of unionism in Scotland given Ruth Davidson's walked away from her masters in London? Well, I think it's a bit absurd that a Scottish parliament has got national unionist MPs. So both Labour and Tory in the Scottish Parliament should be independent of the national um, parties of the Conservatives as such and the national Labour movement. They should be independent of so Scottish Labour. So really in 2014, Scottish Labour should have said to London Labour, to National Labour, listen guys, we're going alone, we're going to back independence and get in. They've been in, can you imagine it? Fantastic. So there you are. Robbie Penman, so there you go. Um, Alex Salmon was brother to my minister, he's a really nice man. John Story, dinky do. Well, John Story, is that our John Story, top broadcaster, by the way. First class broadcaster. All the top people, there we are. Uh, even soon you do the news on Border TV, we used to go to our in-laws caravan in Stranra. Yes, and I used to pop up on Border Television. Yo, says Brad Watson. Riddy's Act, Scottish Government mitigates cruel policy from London but gets no recognition for the Scottish Government. They should do. Jim Johnston's watching Ben Lucas. Thank you, sir, for your honesty, Scotty McLeod. Not at all, Michael Paul McVeigh. That's what we're all about. So there we are. And Brad Watson, what's going on here? So there we are. A bit too much of all that. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll delete that, see how it goes. I totally agree regarding your point of Scottish Labour and Conservative no longer branch offices. Yeah, if it's a Scottish Parliament, these should be Scottish parties. You know, and not just some kind of, um, as you say, satellite office. Carol Johnson, dinky do. How's the time? I need to go soon. Ah, oh, that's lovely. That's lush. Now, we treat for you. Oh, there we go. Would you like a wee tune? Excellent stuff. Did you like that? So there are Ruth Davis an update from not with the First Minister. Uh, certainly not at the moment. Well done tonight. You're a saint, Sir Stephen Dodds, Henry Anderson, Dinky Doo. Will you know come back again? Absolutely, Jilly Shaw. Will I know come back again? What a comeback. Scotty McLeod's had more comebacks than Frank Sinatra. I say, fantastic. I still think on a Friday night we should have a television show. Um, either on the commercial channel or on the British Broadcasting Corporation. You look like the sort of guy I call Grandpa. You'd be sitting there playing me a song. We'll have a cup of tea with the fire. Absolutely, my darling. Bravo, Scotty, says Rosemary Rushton. Stephen Dodds, thank you very much for that. Woo! 
And uh, I remember the big gun singing this on... Oh, this keeps coming up. I think it's adverts pop up, and they shouldn't be cancelling. There we are. They shouldn't be cancelling out our broadcast. So there we are. Very, very irritating, that sort of nonsense. Lovely to be with you all. I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. There's the wonderful Alistair King. Dinky do Alistair. So fantastic. Grandpa Scotty for president. Scotty on TV. I'll vote for that, says Rosemary Rushton. If you cut Scotty in half, it would say Scotland right through him. Absolutely. I'm like a big stick of rock. Scotty A. McClure, always a privilege to watch Scotland's top broadcaster, Dinky Doo. John Story, a privilege, a real, real, genuine privilege working with you. You are a top broadcaster, and I send a big Dinky Doo to you. Will you be my friend, says Kirsty. Dinky Doo, Scotty, says Alistair. Absolutely brilliant, says Ian Stewart. We're going to have to dash off. I hope you've enjoyed the show tonight. We will pop it up on uh, a watch party for you, and you can come and join us then. Until then, from me, Scotty McClure, I'll sing you goodbye song. Are you ready? Here we go. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitor then. Au revoir. And a cheery old. Tell her, my darling, son of Mary Hill. Tell ten, tell ten, tell ten, tell ten about Scotty McClue broadcasting just for you, Dinky Doo, here on Facebook Live. Come and join us on Nation Radio, 10 o'clock sharp on Sunday night. Be there or be square. Bye bye, Grandpa Scotty. Bye bye, Terry. Tell her, Lars. Dinky Doo.